Okay, next we're going to talk about the Echoes section, which I think is delightfully titled. Uh, I like the name way better than Delay. I mean, how did we ever get to the point where we're calling this cool thing Delay? It doesn't really work, does it? Okay, so here is the Delay section. And if we want to operate the Delay section, we go right here to the Mix knob. And let's turn it up. You'll notice that our time is all the way to the left, which means we're having kind of an effect and our regeneration is all the way down. So it's really just kind of a broadening effect at that point. I'm just messing with the mix, the time, and I'm going to be messing with the regeneration, and you can hear the differences. If we go all the way to the right, it's all mix. But uh, <laughs> it's all mix. Yeah, that's really great, Mark. If you go all the way to the right, it has a healthy dose of the effect coupled with the the original signal there's no point where you're just getting only effect uh there's always kind of the coupling of both let's just turn the time all the way up so we can hear this And of course, if you turn the regeneration all the way up, it starts to feed back and makes that really cool noise that I absolutely love to use in music. But it has this great analog sound to it. And, you know, if you're just looking for a clean, straight delay, again, that's not what you should want. You should want a delay that has a character, that does a thing that's special. Because a good old fashioned straight digital delay is just a throwaway effect unless it's something inter interesting. Now I say that, and of course I've used all kinds of quote throwaway digital delays to great effect, but no pun. But uh, in an environment like this, you want something that has a special sound. And I personally love analog delay sound. And uh, it's just because it's so like organic. <laughs> Let's not forget that we 
actually do have the ability to voltage control the time. Let's have some fun and connect this to, let's say, the LFO. where you have your time place your time knob set the place you have your time net time knob set to uh will affect how the voltage control affects how the time moves so uh, by moving the time knob you can get a variety of different effects <laughs> And there's also a uh, negative, which I don't think is gonna make a huge difference with our LFO, but still. <laughs> And so basically, uh, really our only voltage control that we have is to control the time. But even so, there are so many different functions that you can end up with that uh, can be a lot of fun in that respect. <laughs> In this case, I have uh, basically put the square LFO to the input and it made that sort of effect. Basically on off with one setting at a certain point and then nothing. Anyway, there's so much you can do and Pittsburgh Modular knows this. It's a lot of fun to have a voltage controlled uh, delay or echoes on there uh, because you can do so many effects. And it's not just about having echoes. There's all kinds of things you can use this for that aren't just you adding echoes to what you're doing. And it makes for a very useful and cool sounding tool. <laughs> Anyway, that is the echo section found on the Pittsburgh Modular Taiga.